Hi everybody, Fintan here from Dams and Cloud. This week I want to talk about how Google security and Microsoft's security compares and how we feel and Google feels that their security is better. So I want to talk first about some of the recent attacks that we've seen across the globe around um, phishing and security incidences. They've disrupted businesses of all types. One of the major ones in the last couple of years was the SolarWinds attack, which affected 18,000 organizations, um, including Microsoft and government agencies in the US, like the Department of Defense. Um, and these organizations ended up installing updates that left them vulnerable to hackers. There is increased global awareness now of state-sponsored attacks around this type of thing, and there's reduced trust in utilizing third-party solutions like SolarWinds. The next one is Hafnium, which affected 60,000 organizations, and this was utilizing a local Microsoft server instance that was um, hacked again around the world. Countless hours lost, patching, and, and trying to figure out where the, the damage and the scope of the damage, and eventually there was an emergency directive declared for uh, federal agencies as well. And the other major one um, last year was the Colonial Pipeline. This actually ended up with a national state of emergency declared by uh, President Biden at the time, and 45% of the eastern seaboard's oil and gas pipeline was, was disrupted. And Colonial Pipeline actually paid a $5 million uh, ransom as well. So we can see that these um, attacks have caused a lot of disruption for organizations and will continue to cause disruption for organizations that can't um, ensure that their systems are secure. Attackers' tactics tend to remain consistent with 91% of attacks starting with an actual phishing email. That's a very, very high statistic there. Uh, and targeting uh, threats are extremely tough uh, to detect for organization, uh, organizations. Email-borne threats, 66% of malware was installed via malicious emails and attachments. And attackers rapidly changed their tactics here to kind of try to defeat email security. Uh, targeting end users, 90% of all reported breaches caused by, um, were, were caused by employees' negligence or extortion or external threats on the organization. And a lack of admin control, particularly over email, makes remediation particularly difficult. With ransomware, we've seen a 15 um, times increase in the number of ransomware losses from 2015 to 2017, whether that's accidental or intentional sharing of corporate information via email. And there's definitely a common theme across these uh, attacks that, that we've seen, whether it's um, you know, 60,000 computer systems exposed in Germany or whether it's um, cyber criminals scanning for vulnerabilities of Microsoft Exchange servers, organizations across um, the globe are vulnerable to these types of attacks and it's something that every organization needs to take seriously and look at. We also see significant vulnerabilities existing across legacy infrastructure, whether that's on-prem or in the cloud, whether that's things like on-prem Active Directory or Azure AD or federated services, or whether that's an email server on-premise or, or Exchange Online. The same vulnerabilities tend to exist across um, both cloud and on-prem. So how does Google uh, Workspace keep your organization secure and how does it differ? Well, Google is a 100% cloud native um, uh, solution that's always up to date and always secure. Google Workspace provides a born in the cloud communication and collaboration experience that's accessed directly from the web browser, allowing people to work securely from any device. Um, a more secure and reliable compliance suite that you can trust. With Google, it reduces the risk um, with intelligent insights and 99.9 .9 accuracy uh, Google has for blocking spam um, and business email compromise scams. They also help users stay secure proactively with a reporting of zero reported detected or hijacked accounts um, when security keys were deployed in organizations. Centralized management allows simple control for administrators with Google managing now 110 million devices. Now, this is some really interesting stats here around Google's machine learning. So the scale of Google's machine learning means that it's much, much more effective. Every single minute, 
10 million spam messages are prevented from reaching Gmail users. 10 million every single minute. 694,000 pages are indexed and scanned for harmful software by Google, again, every single minute. 7,000 deceitful URLs or executables or browser extensions um, are spotted and stopped um, by Google, again, every single minute. 6,000 incidences of unwanted software and nearly 1,000 incidences of suspected malware on reported Chrome users um, are detected every single minute. And two phishing sites and one malware site are found and labeled by Google. So that is happening on Google's system every minute of, of every hour of every day. And there's an interesting quote here from Morgan Reed at the CIO of State uh, of Arizona. And he said that Gmail was much better than their previous system, Microsoft. Um, for the first month that they migrated over, they ran the two systems in parallel. And Gmail removed 107,000 malicious emails that their older system didn't catch. Google has built in um, features like data loss prevention to stop exfiltration of data within your organization. It helps prevent intentional and unintentional data loss outside of your organization, whether that's with the built-in libraries of predefined detectors or whether that's with custom rules within your DLP to stop information from your specific organization or with your specific requirements from leaving the organization. You can do things like enforce actions, warn users, um, and execute things like isolating the incident and block the action from actually happening in real time. And again, coming back to this one with the security key, I think it's really, really important here. When Google implemented this um, on several of their customer sites, uh, it became really, really popular that when security keys were implemented, hijacked accounts were brought to zero. So our customers that want to really, really take security seriously, we recommend that they implement security keys across the board. Next, we have Google Security Center, and this allows to surface worrisome or concer you know, concerning information uh, and, and in you know, interesting, actionable information to IT admins whether that's the security health check, whether it's a security dashboard, or whether it's the investigation tool, this information is in a single place and, and gives a comprehensive dashboard of recommendations to IT admins that they can take insightful actions on immediately within the Google Security Center. And many of our customers that have this on, on enterprise um, on the, the enterprise tier find it extremely valuable to maintain security in their organization over time. So to sum up, Google has a multi-layered approach to protecting against an attack. It's a secure communication and collaboration platform with advanced anti-phishing and malware, security keys to prevent account hijacking, and insights and best practices to give you insightful data that you can take actions on within the Google Security Center. Google's also got all of the security compliance uh, certifications, whether that's ISO 2700, whether that's FedRAMP in the US or HIPAA or any of the, um, uh, of the uh, required audits and assessments and certifications that organizations need to ensure compliance and security. Millions of users across the globe trust Google Workspace to secure and collaborate on whether that's digital natives like DoorDash, Uber, Stripe, Spotify, and Snowflake, or healthcare industries like um, One Medic, Mayo Clinic, and Roach, manufacturing industries, Motorola, Airbus. Um, within retail, we have Shopify, Carrefour, Nielsen, both big brands and newer brands and digital natives within there. In business services, we've got organizations like PwC and BBVA Bank. In media and telco, we've got Netflix, Telus, EA, uh, Dish and, and Discovery. And in the public sector, again, a huge amount of, of organizations, both in the US and in Europe. Google has also been heavily investing within security, buying up companies like Chronicle um, that has faster threat detection and investigation response. Beyond Corp um, Enterprise is a zero trust um, model for organizations, and some of this is actually implemented, some of, the, some of these features are implemented within Google Workspace, but you can also bring them out to other tools and even on-premise systems within your organization um, using the Beyond Corp Enterprise solution. Web apps and API protection solutions, and also um, a recent, another recent 
acquisition of, of Google's Actifio Go, which is an always on backup solution and data recovery uh, process. So there are many ways or, or multiple options in terms of getting started with Google Workspace. Many customers might start with a proof of concept to figure out if Google Workspace is right for them. And this is a, a risk free pilot that you can run within your organization for 30 or 60 or 90 days. Some organizations go for a full replatforming. Their entire end-to-end -end collaboration system, they want to swap out a traditional system like Microsoft for Google that they feel is more collaborative and more secure. Or maybe you just want to start off with something like Google Drive and you want to test that out first. And um, Google now have tiers within their, um, their, their plans that allow you to just purchase Google Drive and Google Meet, the sort of collaborative end of the, of the, the platform. Uh, and then other organizations actually use Gmail as their, or Google as their disaster recovery. So you, you leverage Google or Gmail as that continuity um, solution that has all of the, the security that your organization may require. So there's you know, four different areas there that you can, your organization can look at implementing Google Workspace and seeing that security firsthand uh, within your organization. And certainly as security threats continue to develop having a solution like Google that is much more secure and is really the world leader um, in this area in cloud security um, just makes a lot of sense for a lot of organizations. And we're seeing that particularly with the pandemic with people working remotely where data is now in the homes and people have access to the corporate information while at home. Having a system like Google that enables that so easily while allowing people to still communicate and collaborate um, it's a system that was built really for this type of, of modern work environment that we now have. So if you'd like more information on this, please feel free to reach out to Dams and Cloud. One of our Google Workspace experts would be delighted to talk to you about your organization's requirements, whether that's security or collaboration. Or if you're not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please don't forget to do so. And we are also on LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram as well. You can follow us on those platforms. See you guys next week.